Get ready. It's time for a well-deserved break, Pittsburgh, with Heather Abraham and David Highfield. From the KDKA TV studios, it's Pittsburgh Today Live. How was your whirlwind weekend? Oh my gosh. Was it amazing? It was jam packed. I'm yeah. Sure. I went to New York for the Tony Awards. We were on the red carpet. I was asking questions. PTL was represented there on the red carpet. Um, and it was fun. I bet it was. Well, yep. you have fun all the time, but it's a little bit of work. It, it is a little bit of work, but I, I want to share some of it. I mean, and there were lots of celebrities this time, like Alicia Keys and Angelina Jolie and no! was there. And Billy Porter, I know yesterday you talked about yep. the award that he got. Yep. Um, so anyway, uh, we, we Saturday night saw The Outsiders, which we had no idea. I mean, it was nominated, but it ends up winning as best new musical. Okay, here's the thing. Alante, our producer for Talk Pittsburgh, knows one one of the, I think, actresses who was in that production. Yes, He yes. wants to go see her, and he said that the tickets shot up in price after the big win. I'm sure they did, yeah. yeah. So uh, so some of the people here, see, were, so this is Josh Gad, so we met him when we went, tried to go to the uh, the Outsiders backstage, and then Will Brill, who won a Tony the next night, and then Sarah Pigeon, another CMU grad, who was oh, up for a Tony, and wow. then those other guys that you saw, the, the, you're going to see them again here. Kevin Paul, he's one of Gary's former students who's in the Outsiders, and he was showing us around sort of backstage, uh, because it's really an impressive show, sure. what they do. I mean, they have to be worn out at the end of it. There's Kevin. Uh, and then Jason Schmidt, who's also in The Outsiders. So they, I mean, they wound up That's being amazing. in. Yeah. And so anyway, uh, Alante, the producer from Talk Pittsburgh, was yeah. telling me, you know, the, in, all members of the cast there, and they're all there, yeah. you know, in this one show. So one. cool. So it was awesome. So the next day was the red carpet. Uh, and it was actually blue carpet. I don't know why. Why was it blue carpet? We don't know. Oh no! It was a pretty yeah. blue. I've never seen a it blue like that. It was a like nice that. shade of blue carpet. Yeah. But so they, this was the pass to get you on the red carpet. Uh, and so it was a teeny tiny little space. There's all these people there, and like literally, they give you about a foot. There's like a little sticker that says KDKA on it. So you're like you're positioned Standing like sideways. this. You've got a camera yeah. like this, and you're trying to reach in there. Um, Everybody was asking like people questions about like, are you proud of the work you did? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Who are you wearing? That yeah. kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I just kept asking people about Pittsburgh. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I Tell love me it, about though. your memories of Pittsburgh. So you like, have to. You, I mean, yeah. yeah. So this was uh, some CMU students, uh, graduates that were involved in things. There were uh, people with other Pittsburgh connections. Those are the people I zeroed in on. So take a look at my experience on the red, blue carpet. <laughs> we're in it to win it tonight. The Steelers won the Super Bowl my freshman and senior years. And like people, you would walk down the street and people would pat you on the back. Like strangers would be like, way to go, we did it. And I was like, hell yeah. I remember being in Pamela's and like just starting to go like, here we go, Steelers, here we go. And the whole, like all of Pamela's just started like cheering with us. It was incredible. Like, you're just fabulous. Thank you. Well, I'm a proud Pittsburgher. So, you know, and anybody who knows me knows that. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, I'm just glad to be representing tonight. Oh my God, what don't I remember? Let's see. Um, uh, oh, everything. I mean, Pittsburgh is such a special place in my heart. Obviously, you know, my wife and I celebrate uh, 19 years married next week uh, we met each other yeah we met each other at CMU so it holds a lot of a very personal uh, 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 love for us that town not only for Carnegie Mellon but uh, all the people there you have a Pittsburgh connection right my whole dad's side of the family uh, is from Squirrel Hill uh, they grew up at the house. That, I don't know if any people remember. There was a restaurant called Poli. Yeah. Uh, the house right right across from Alderdice. But there's so many great artists that have come out of Pittsburgh. It is a dream come true, and I'm just so excited and to be here with um, not only colleagues from Carnegie Mellon, but my favorite, you know, one of my favorite professors, you know, Gary Klein. Gary Klein. 
Gary Klein. <laughs> Gary Klein. You look fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, I, I rent it sucks, but it's good. I was going to ask, who are you wearing? Yeah. Uh, Gary. <laughs> How exciting is it to be on the red carpet? It's blue, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's wonderful to be on it. And uh, it's uh, chaos and, and fun and a glorious night here in New York. Oh, how at, funny. At interviewing Gary. I love the moment where he says, it's blue. It's blue. <laughs> it's not red, I'm wearing David. Gary. How fun. Oh, my God. I mean, really you, knew, you knew he was walking oh, yeah. the he, carpet. He, they, this time around, because CMU gives this award to a, a wonderful educator. They look at all these teachers from around yeah. the country. And so he was part of the panel that chose this. And this year, they chose this woman from Baltimore. And so... He was able to walk the red, the, the blue, blue carpet. carpet. Yeah. So I knew he was coming, and I knew I was. I said, oh. I'm interviewing you. I'm going to ask you some questions. That's wonderful. And so it was really fun. And then the after party at Lincoln Center, uh, and it was amazing. Like you know, you're hobnobbing with these celebrity this. folks, and it was just beautiful what they had set up. These are the Cott brothers, Corey and Casey Cott. Both of them have been on Broadway. They're CMU grads. And there's Anthony Mason from CBS News. Right. Yeah. It was fun to meet him. Uh, so anyway, it was just a Does he know a about our show? D yeah, oh, I told him all about it. And was he I like, oh, him. yeah, I've seen some of that on streaming, or did he say no, anything? No, he did not mention that he's actually seen us, but maybe he'll watch now. I would hope so. Yeah. Uh, now, I'm always about promoting the show, so I did ask everybody I interviewed to do one thing for me, so take a look. Pittsburgh Today Live. We're here at the Tony Awards. Pittsburgh Today Live. Pittsburgh Today Live. Pittsburgh Today Live. And Pittsburgh so Today Live. I know. I like how they like delivered it. it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So That's they were so all cool. great. Yeah. Put those in the bucket. You know, you never know when you have to pull that back out. Exactly. I like it. Yeah. And so one final thing. So Gary was waiting to get onto the red carpet. Uh huh. And you know, some celebrities were moving past him and getting on in front of him. One of them is a familiar face. And someone snapped a picture and sent this <gasps> to us from, so that's Angelina Jolie. His his people were like, no, 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 Angelina needs to go in. So I just love Gary's face because he looks like irritated, even though he totally understands. I mean, these are big celebrities, and is you know. And she as beautiful in person? Oh my gosh. As yeah. yeah, she's fantastic. Oh yeah. gosh, I mean, I wish she didn't make it all the way down to the carpet where right. I was stationed, or otherwise I would have been yelling out. Brooke Shields walked right past. Them. I saw your picture. Did yeah. you send that to our group chat? Yeah, uh, yeah. I did. Okay. Yeah. I knew that I saw one <laughs> like, picture. There's and a I picture of me where. going like Brooke Shields. <laughs> That is really, really wonderful. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was, it was great. It was nice to see the Pittsburgh connections. Um, okay, well, I, I don't know that you're going to enjoy uh, what we have for our Taste It Tuesday today, but I, I wanted to bring you back in a celebratory way. So, you know, there was some news that came out last week right. about Joey Chestnut and his whole, the hot dog eating contest, the Nathan's hot dog eating contest, and he's out. And I don't know. Anyways. Right, right. He had a conflict. He started endorsing some, like a competitor or something. I, well, it was yeah. a vegan or, right. you know. Different company. kind of thing than right. what Nathan's. Meatless wanted. options. Right. Um, so, Permantis here locally was like, hey, Joey, we got you covered. Why don't you come here and do an eating challenge at Permantis on the 4th of July instead? So, Which is of, a great idea. Smart right. move, Permantis. So as of late, he has not responded yet. So, But we're hoping to hear a yes. Okay. In the meantime, I thought, <laughs> why don't David and I try? Now, we're not going to be able to take down as many sandwiches Look as, say, <laughs> Joey Chestnut. <laughs> But we oh did boy. want to kind of see how far we could get. <laughs> okay, so we are the, not we have not prepared no. for this. Is, like, oh in boy. fact, is there I mean like is there any technique that we should Well, you know, competitive okay. eaters usually dip and dunk. They want to oh, soften so okay. they can hit it have, down the gullet. Oh my god, a little either, bit easier. Have either one of you guys ever this, been in a competitive eating contest? No. No, but I like no, to call I know dinner. Nothing Let's about get it. this done as fast <laughs> as possible. Right, so I, I just I, I feel like I need to be because every time beforehand they have someone that's very serious that comes out and they have like the pep talk. So yeah. if there's any issues going on, this right here 
You don't, this means you're choking. Right. Got it. Do you okay. know the Heimlich? <laughs> yes, I, think I do. You can do, do the Heimlich to yourself <laughs> on a table. Well, no, you can. but I'm not going to do that when there's other people around. Okay, so okay. Ron's going to come to so our just rescue. Just let me know, <laughs> and I will come and help. <laughs> we stole this from Mikey for her in a Mikey minute on Talk Pittsburgh. <laughs> I love it. This is our official timer. Oh, so gosh. we're going to flip this over, and Ron, you Nothing are going to. Go wrong to here. Um, <laughs> are, are you? Wait, hold on. I got to get the sandwich. Oh, you're flipping, and okay. I will officiate. All right, you ready? Okay, so Ron, walk us through. It's just. <laughs> I like how I had that power right there. It's a bit lot uh, how is it? How is it? Okay. Uh, I, I have to look over here. Wow, uh, you guys are very slow. Um, this is not. Now you can see why they're professionals, and mm -hmm. you guys are. Don't they not. They wiggle. Yeah. They wiggle. Do you well, need, do you need some water right? to maybe dip it in? Maybe would that help a little faster? I mean, you guys are like on your third bite. <laughs> <laughs> this is so slow. It's like watching a turtle cross the street right We're now. We're not going to be invited to anything. <laughs> this is, it's delicious, though. This let's, is a great idea David, for that. David, let's talking. That, that is not a good strategy mm -hmm. when it comes to... <laughs> oh, boy. This is... Uh, all right. All right heads up. How is the sandwich? Is the sandwich good? Great sandwich. At least your winner there, right? I mean, mm -hmm. even if this is like a slow speed chase and process... <laughs> this is going to be close. I think Heather is going to win this contest. All right, here we go in five, four, three, two, sandwiches down. <laughs> Ron, Don't lose it. Don't lose it, Heather. It. Don't lose it. <laughs> How much do you have in that mouth right now? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I think we all won. <laughs> I'm gonna say Heather won, because I have less of my sandwich. Wait, you have less or more <laughs> of your sandwich? Oh, I have more of my sandwich. You're right. He can't less even think than straight. And greater than that was all math. I, I like how Heather can't even talk right now because she has a full mouth. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Be safe. Get a beverage. Joey Chestnut makes it look easy. That is not easy. Mm -mm. That's why he's a professional and you're not. Yeah, just you know. Right. I think out. it's the layers. It's the layers. <clears throat> <laughs> it's the layers. It's a lot of bread. Well, that's true. Like, I, I, hot dog eating might be different than I don't the Manny's know. eating. I don't know. Uh, the coleslaw was tripping me up. Hmm. Yeah. It was mostly like, the bread it's hard. It's no, it's hard bread. to eat coleslaw fast. Like, yeah. I don't know why. Well, it that'll like... keep you full in all day long. That's fun. <laughs> that was fun. That was a great idea. Maybe we should have just seen how fast we could eat the whole sandwich. Anyways. Yeah. All, All right. right, we have an announcement. Um, we do yes. have an announcement to make. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, you know, Picklesburg is returning in July. We love Picklesburg. We love Picklesburg. Yes, voted Please number get a tight one. Shot of my yeah. face right now. <laughs> oh, thank you. Do you need a napkin thank here? You. Here, take a napkin. <laughs> All right, so we get to make an announcement this morning here on PTL. So they have something new, a new event this year at Picklesburg, and everybody wow. loves it. Picklesburg. Olympicals. <laughs> so Picklesburg has expanded to four days for the first time. It's going to be Thursday, July 18th to Sunday, July 20, 21st. And for the first time, they're having the first ever. Heather, you get to say it this time. No, you please. No, I don't want to say it. I think I'm saying it wrong and it's sounding There's no other way great. to say it. <laughs> no, it's you try it out. Picklesburg Olympical Games. Yes. <clears throat> All right. There's no so, other way to say it. If you're wondering, what is this made up of? Well, they've taken something that you know and love, and they've added some other things to it. So the crowd favorite, the pickle juice drinking contest. Right. And then two new events. So they're going to do pickle eating, which, again, please be careful. It may look easy. It is not easy. We can attest to that now. And yeah. bobbing for pickles. <clears throat> Which I actually, that's like bobbing for apples, which is really difficult too. Are so, you putting your whole face into? I think you have to. Uh -huh. Yeah. So the bobbing for pickles, you get 90, 90 minutes. No, I, it must be 90 seconds, yeah. right? To retrieve the most pickles, 90 minutes. That would be a lot of pickles. A long saga, <laughs> yes. Uh, and then the pickle eating contest, who can eat the most pickles in five minutes? Woo. So I don't know. Champions will get. An Olympical statue. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> so, and a $500 grand prize, and they will earn the royal title of Duke of Drinking, Earl of Eating, or Baron of Bobbing. Ooh. 
<laughs> you can enter online right now. They've thought of everything. They're they really going hard. Are. They're going hard. All right, uh, well, there's another uh, pickle festival that's coming, and this one really intrigued us, too. We're actually going to be heading over to the kitchen <laughs> in just a little bit for this. Um, I don't know if they have any uh, punny slangs yet, but sayings yet, but we'll find out. Oh, we'll we have lots of them. It. Yeah. So anyway, that's that's happening. You don't have to wait for that. That's coming up very very quickly. All okay. right. Hey, also coming up very very quickly, we want to know what you have to say about our what you think Wednesday question. Uh, so chime in on our Pittsburgh Today Live Facebook page because we're going to hash this out tomorrow, and the question centers on this. Okay. So it's a New York Times column asking for help. A woman says she's been walking with the same group of 12 women for the last last decade, but recently the coordinator of the walking group invited her best friend to join. The woman who wrote in said that she had a falling out with this woman years ago. She does not want to reconcile. She loves this group. She doesn't know if she wants to continue with the group. We thought this was really good because what do you do when someone infiltrates your, your group? group? And what do you do? So go to our Facebook page. Do you think she should make amends and keep walking or is it time to walk away? Let us know mm. what you think. All right. We will debate it tomorrow.